All right, all right. 9:53 a.m. March 29th. I really don't have a lot of time to do the intro over here for this video today. We're back in Connecticut, okay, to chase some trophy fish with Benoit, with Ben, owner of the Euro Tackle Company. Last time I was here in Connecticut, we hit the Connecticut River when I landed that beautiful six pounder, 28 inches, both in the Amia Calva, my new PB. This time we're doing something a little bit different. Check that out. Ben is putting the boat in the water over here. We are at this place called Coventry Lake, which is actually a body of water that I have never fished before. According to Ben, here is all about quality over quantity. It is a tough bite. However, there's a real possibility that we could find some big lake trout, the Salvelinus, now my kush, some big brown trout, okay, the Salmo truta, and there's also a legit chance that what didn't happen in the previous video, right? If you haven't watched it yet, you should go check it out, right? That Connecticut one, there's a real chance that I could break my PB largemouth black bass. So without any delays, man, Ben is almost done over there. I'm gonna go help him out a little bit. Good things are about to happen today. Maybe stay tuned and those shall find out. You is usually the water clear over here? Extremely clear. Yeah, dude. Okay. Okay. I actually see a trout. You actually see a trout? A dead trout. A dead trout. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> is small or big dead trout? It's pretty, it's pretty good size. Pretty good size. <laughs> it's not like a monster or anything. What do you think we're going to get started with today? Like in terms of baits and lures? A jerk bait. A jerk bait? Until I find some very good structure for hair jigs. Gotcha. You get insert. Okay, one moment, dude. Let me don't get wet, bro. Get the sand a little bit out. Oh, don't worry, it's dirty now. This is the fight killer. The creek killer. All right. Nice job. Nice job, Leo. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get my life vest over here. I think the onyx is in here. Beautiful. Raptors up. Sir, yes, sir. I mean, code. Oh, I see the dead trout that you were talking about. I mean, it's not like nice, nice size, but well, it's not a small one. It's a dead trout, though. What, what do you think it is, though? A rainbow, maybe? Yeah, most likely. Yeah, I think it's a rainbow. Well, all right, dude. I'm gonna put my book back down. Get ready for that jerk bait bite, man. Pee pee on at all times. I'm going there with soft lock. I mean, with a. Are they moving or just the stand? Or just staying there? Let me see. What are they talking about here? No, that can't be all trout, dude. It's it's very crappy. What the fudge? 20 25 feet that way though. Mm -hmm. Open water. They're pretty down too. Wow, but this is a big school, dude. Five feet down. I'm gonna do a steady retrieve and see what happens. Had one. I don't know, but I I had one on a steady retrieve, 100 percent. Test again. Bring it. Bring it. Let me see. Okay, 25 feet. That's absolutely perfect. Gonna let it sink a little bit. 
I'm doing steady retrieve. We'll see. I'm bumping them. Fish on. What is it? Grab your trout. Oh, perch! perch. <laughs> the school of American. The school of yellow perch. Wow. Thought we would catch some trout, but I don't. I don't feel so disappointed getting started on a perch, though. EPF swim. Gold color over here too. Beautiful. Oh, dude, they're spawning. That's why. Huh? That's a male with milk. See that? They're spawning. That is awesome. My first ever fish from Coventry. It's a male with milk. We're gonna let it go so this one can create many more babies with the females in the future. Ben found a huge school of fish on the live scope. Dude, that is crazy. And we thought maybe those are trout. Turns out to be a school of yellow perch. Am I on the left or right? I'm on the right river line. Okay, I'm gonna come to this way. Look at, look at them following the thing. He's all yellow perch. Yeah, I think it's pretty much confirmed now. It's a big school of yellow perch. American yellow perch. Perca flavicens. Oh my lord, dude, I'm sorry. He just uh, milked on your uh, boat. Sorry about that. Fill, fill with milk. All right, go back. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna try to clean it off a little bit, but no, yeah, it's all. We take some sample for Jeff Ross. <laughs> That's so bad, bro. Well, all right, yellow perch is fun and everything, but we're back on the mission. I'm gonna put away my 6.7 ultralight micro finesse over here and we're going to go back to the Z-series, the one without solid tip, right? Because we're actually working a Lucky Craft pointer over here, kind of like an allergy bone collar style. This one did real good yesterday. I mean, the previous YouTube video that we called the bow fin. So I'm going to start casting this baby again over here try to catch my new PB largemouth bass. Oh shit. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, bro. You gotta come to the left side? Oh yeah, it's nice. I mean, I don't know how big it is, but... Oh, chunky. Chunky dude, chunky. Chunky boy! Ah, yeah boy. Whoo, finally something. Yeah boy. Not bad dude, not bad. Ooh. What did you think, two and a half, three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three pounds because it's fat. Three pounds? We'll measure it, we'll measure it. Just for good luck for today. Sounds good. I'm gonna take two more with intelligent auto of zero. Then you give it some more water. Then we're gonna take some with the phone. All right, give it some water. Give it some water, man. Always got to give the fish some water. You feel me? Taking some photos with camera here, real quick. It's been a tough bite on the water. This is really the solid one, first solid one that you saw on the live scope, right? Yeah. Did you actually see this one on the live scope? Yeah. Yeah, I just missed a small one over here, two yellow perch, but this is usually how it goes when you are out here hunting the trophy ones, you feel me? What is the biggest one that you've caught in this lake? 7-7. Seven, seven. Dude, can you imagine if we catch one of those today? Alright, let's take photos with the phone. I guess we don't really need to measure this one since it's not like, you know, like, oh, outrageously big. Yeah, so we're just going to take a photo and release it. Sounds good? Good. Alright, man. Okay. Is it okay for with the background? Okay. Okay. One moment. Let me zoom the fish. One final view here. Yeah. All right, dude. We're good to go. Look at how red it is inside. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Still like water. Still pretty cold. Yeah, that's a beauty. 
<laughs> he's low, he's one back. He's Good cool. job, bro. Good job. So yeah, it is that type of day, you know. Water temperature is still low. He caught that one on a hair jig. I was throwing the EPF swim. I'm gonna go back to a hair jig, I think, and we'll try to find a few more of those, or at least, you know, a moan though. Let me put the net, net back Trout. where? Trout. Trout? Oh, shoot. Trout. Come here. Oh my gosh, bro. Where? Here, right here. Right here, those two big things, those two big things. 10, 15 yeah, or? You gotta go quick. Yeah. It's on you already, it's on you already. It's on you, it's trout. Yeah, I felt one tiny tap. See? Yeah, see? I see. <laughs> it's on. Oh, those are Oh, they're not big though. No. But it's trout, it's trout. One more species. One more species, one more species. One more species. I'm gonna put it in the net for now because I'm gonna put it back in the water. I take some nice shots of Mr. Trout here. Uh, I'm going to wet my hands over here real quick. Uh, benefits of having the live scope and the net on the boat. You feel me? Those are the benefits. Right after that bass, Ben just saw two of these on the live scope. And he was like, Leo! Come here with the EPF swim, right? Look at that, dude. My first ever trout from Coventry, huh? Beautiful rainbow right here. Don't want to give it the death grip too much, okay? Just boom. Healthy, good to go. Was in the net, in the water the whole time. Took a few photos of it too. I'm going to leave it here in the video for you all. Rainbow trout, home coding Kuzmikis. Not exactly the sizes that we are looking for today, you know. I hear Ben telling me that there are some real, real big ones in here, in particular, big browns, right? And that's why sometimes when we see them on the live scope, you only see the little fire thing, right? You don't necessarily know for certain the size of the fish. Sometimes turn out one to be one of those, you know, sometimes, bro. <laughs> so yeah, EPF swim hair jig work around this area and you never know hopefully we're going to have a giant before the end of this fishing session see something nice dude ah uh, need the net for that one no that's a beautiful trout though don't take me wrong silvery trouty stockish Stockish. Yeah, it's a beautiful trout, man. On the hair jig. Jimmy Lee would love this stuff. Dude, they're slippery. They are. Just like all other fish. Stop. Oh, you're doing like the bass anglers do, huh? In the competitions. With the trout, very easy. <laughs> there we go. You want to take a photo with it? Absolutely not. Okay. This dude is only going for the trophies. All right, we're passing the 10 seconds already. Ready? All right, good job, bro. Quick release. Yeah. Nice. Right in front of the boat. <laughs> I mean, it's not. I think it's a little bit smaller than the last one, though. Smaller. But oh, it wait, wait, so wait, wait! It's running, it's running. It was so shallow, it looked big. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. Yeah, it's just definitely a little bit small, but not bad, not bad, you know. No, not a bad at all. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it looked big because it was in. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, not bad. In the water. Two pounder? Yeah. Yeah. Put lipstick for you. For sure. Beautiful. Hmm. Definitely not finding the giants that we want, but some trout over here, some bass over there. It's not all that bad though. It's not all that bad. How many bass did you catch again? Two, right? Two. Biggest one was like in the range of three pounds. Yeah. Yep. 
I'm going to leave that photo on the screen over here for you folks. This is really the highlight of the day. That large mouth black bass, the Micropterus salmoides. We started early in the morning and right now it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. We're kind of running out of time. So as always, I'm going to leave all the numbers on the screen. When you are out here chasing the trophy ones, the big ones, right? Fishing sessions like this, I guess, are to be expected. I'm not gonna lie, I am glad that we didn't get skunked today at all. Found two largemouth bass over there, a few yellow perch, rainbow trout, right? Couldn't really find the browns or the Lakers, but needless to say, hey, check it out, check it out, right? It is truly a beautiful, beautiful lake. Beautiful environment out here. Really enjoyed my adventure at this particular location today. So once again, shout out to Ben right over here. Doing a great job here with the boat and everything else, you know, trying to find us some good fish. But this video, man, you know, it's a, there's a living proof, right? That sometimes, even with a live scope, things really just don't happen. Fishing can be real, real tough like that. All right, I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I'm going to be bringing you folks in the future some more videos here from Connecticut. Unbeknownst to a lot of people, these fishing sessions that I'm having with Ben this year, you know, they're going to be our last adventures together for quite a while due to a number of different reasons. His, his schedule is about to get very busy. My schedule is about to get very busy too with a lot, you know, of fishing trips coming up, right? And YouTube videos for you folks. So I've got to make sure that I enjoy any opportunity I can get, you know? to come over and fish with this guy. Tight lines, take it easy. Hopefully next time it is going to be better. Oh, oh it's about surface, it's about surface. It's about surface. I'm not gonna net it until it surfaces, okay? Cause I don't want it to give it a run and then the thing just misses. I cannot move this thing. <laughs> we finally found a nice school of lake trout here at the lake. Not even making this up. Ben's Cassie, what are you using for that, dude? Four inch swim bait. Four <laughs> this is just ridiculous. <laughs> He's been fighting for a while, too. Rod's been in there. The thing hasn't even He's surfaced. Right. Taking track. <laughs> whole morning, whole afternoon. We're about to give up. We're about to go back to the boat ramp. We found a school right here. That's that is, crazy. That is not my crawfish that's fishing <laughs> right here. <laughs> well, okay, okay. Well, let's not jinx it. We need to land it first. Yeah, move it. I'm pulling, look. I know, I know, bro. I know. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Oh, I'm taking my time. This is crazy, the power of this thing. All right, that big. Wait, wait, the body. Wait, wait. Right. Bro! Oh, that's a that's a that's a ground. No. Yes. No, that's a laker. Sorry. That's a laker. That's a yeah, laker. That's a laker. It's a laker. But look that's at this. That thing is massive, dude. All right. I got it. Maybe you got it, more, yeah. bro. We need to take some photos of that thing. That yeah. thing is massive. But the thing is, they die pretty quick. It's okay. We we take good care of it. You no, know, we leave it in the net and hook it in the net. Take it out, quick photo, put it back in the net, give water, and then we release it, you know, take good care of it. Wait. See if you like the photos. Oh, I'll hold the net. Don't worry, just me. I'm not too picky. Oh, dude, but there I'm... was one that was blurry. No, but... they're, they're super nice, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much. And I, wait, wait, I want to take some with mine too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you water. Oh yeah, that's but fine. You want one on your ship, right? No, 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 no. It's fine. You if you, it but this. but just double check that it is good. Yeah, I think it's perfect. Okay, so in that case, we're good. We're good. We yeah, we don't need to exhaust the fish too much. I think that amount of time, ten seconds outside of the water. Now you do need to revive it a little bit, dude. Hold it by the tail, and just make sure that the fish swims away nicely. You know. It's not blurry, right? No. It's one was blurry. I know that one was blurry. No, it's perfect. Look. 
they're super badass beautiful pictures. beautiful like can, like... sounds good okay we release it yeah release it make sure you hold by the tail and see if it swims <laughs> the size of your thing oh yeah it's full of life it's full of life right it yeah. should yeah yeah it should dude heck yeah we was outside only for 10 15 seconds we did a real good job yeah. dude that's what's up we're about to give up bro on, your turn we're about to give up bro your turn yeah let's do this if i just jig they don't come oh. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> yeah boy Oh, it's off! It's off! I don't Got even off! Know why I ran oh, but it's okay. It was at least at least you know one took it. At least one took it. So I don't know why I ran the net because that would be a <laughs> seven minutes faster. Ridiculous! On the wheelchair. Okay, okay. All right, at least one, you know. Okay. Five fifty p.m. The trolling motor died. <laughs> you know we use it so much. For finding the lake trout today now we may have some issues actually you know getting the boat to the boat ramp but i mean it's one bite for the lake trout ben call one we're ending the day here at coventry huh i mean how many hours are we fishing quite a bunch so as you folks can see chasing trophies ain't always easy even with a live scope all right now i'm out for real i'll see you all next time